The incredible life story of Joshua Williams has a lot of twists and turns, from being homeless as a teenager and dropping out of high school to getting both an undergraduate and law degree from the University of Toledo. And it's here that he reconnected with a man who would help shape the course of his life. It's always hard to think about it. Um, it kind of brings a tear to my eye because I realized how close I was to losing everything. After dropping out of high school, Joshua went to work to support his young son, but was hurt on the job and disabled for eight years. Eventually, I had a choice to either lay in bed for the rest of my life or, or get out, and I chose to go to college. After getting his GED, Joshua started college at the age of 30. It took me three years uh, to do my bachelor's and associate's degree, and it took me two and a half years to graduate from law school. The motivation for Joshua to go to law school came about after he was arrested his sophomore year in college. I was charged with two felonies, and uh, it, changed, it changed my life. Joshua pled not guilty to the charges and worked to prove his innocence. The case uh, progressed over the course of about six months or so, which uh, ended in the case being dismissed at the request of the state of Ohio. Judge Myron Duhart presided over the case and never expected that their paths would cross again. Duhart teaches a class in trial practice at UT, and one day he ran into Joshua in the hall. He reminded me of uh, he being a defendant in my courtroom and that he had uh, thoughts and desires to take my class uh, when he was able to do that. Fast forward a couple years, and Joshua was not only in Judge Duhart's class, but he ended up being the top student in it. Certainly not a coincidence. I always believe that uh, things happen for a reason and that uh, there's, there's a great deal of providence in, in uh, life and, and how your life progresses, and this is certainly one of those examples. Joshua realizes just how lucky he's been to have people like Judge Duhart in his corner. When I look at my life as kind of a pond where you throw a pebble in and there's ripples, and the impact that they have will have ripples on my family and my generations to come. Lisa Guyton, 13 ABC, Action News.